Hey guys, it's Alicia and I am back with another Scrappy Play Date. This week, uh, me and Hannah decided to focus on some die cuts and or embossing folders. And so you saw me, I pulled out uh, a few of my dies and embossing folders in the beginning there. Um, I'm not going to end up using all of those, but um, some of them I will. Unfortunately, I didn't use any embossing folders though, but um, maybe in the near future, I have a couple ideas to use those on some layouts. So uh, anyway, <laughs> I am using the collection hashtag summer. Um, I believe it was from last year from American Crafts. And I just pulled out some sheets. It's a really fun collection, lots of bright summery colors. So I thought it would go perfect with my photo. So I'm just measuring how big that biggest scallop square is. Those are by Sizzix. And I'm just trimming the pattern papers that I pulled out down um, to fit the dies. And I'm going to run them through my Big Shot here. And I do have the magnetic plate underneath. Um, I don't always use it, but I have been doing a lot of die cutting this weekend. So it's in there and it worked out good. So here are all the little squares that I've cut out. Um, I'm just kind of playing with them to see how I want the, um, you know, the pattern to be, I guess. <laughs> and um, I cut a few too many squares that I that I wanted. I wanted to try to make them all work, but they're not going to. So I'm just going to use these ones. And I do realize there's only one yellow and one pink, but I'm going to make up for that um, in the embellishing process. So. So I'm just sticking all my pieces down with my ATG gun here and let me take a moment to say I am so sorry that this video is 18 minutes long but this layout took me quite a quite a while to do between the die cutting and I end up doing some other things that take uh, some time so sorry for that. <laughs> I try not to, to make the videos this long. I try to cut out as much as I can. So anyways, there's my photo printed off of my Canon selfie and I just trimmed it down and now I'm matting it uh, just on a piece of vellum here just so that it has um, a little border for uh, to sit on that pattern paper back there. Um, I'm going to grab a stencil now and I'm looking for uh, a polka dot one and I'm going to end up going with this penny black one. I pull out another one but I'm going to use that penny black one, the smaller one there with the different sizes and I'm going to do a bit of foiling. So I'm going to grab my Martha Stewart transfer glue and some blending foam and um, I'm going to push the glue through that stencil and um, I wait until it gets tacky and then I'm going to apply some foil on top of it. So I haven't done this in a little while and I still love the foil look and so I thought why not? I have a foil in that pretty blue color and so I might as well add just a little pop to the layout, right? <laughs> so there I am. I'm doing it kind of in a diagonal pattern. It seems to be kind of a go-to uh, thing for me. I just like the diagonal format. <laughs> so I'm just cleaning off my stencil there, that glue. So this is deco foil, and like I said, it's that really pretty blue color. It's not an exact match, but um, it worked out pretty good. So I'm just going to grab my bone folder here and rub over where I did that stenciling, and when I pull it back, the pretty little polka dots will be foiled. So if you ever um, try this technique and when you pull the foil back and you're missing a few spots, if it's still tacky right there, you can lay um, any piece of the foil back on and rub it on and it will just blend in like you won't even be able to tell that that spot was missing originally. <laughs> so I'm going to start doing some embellishing now. Um, <laughs> here's a treat for you. This is like my junk box. <laughs> Are there, I mean, I shouldn't say junk, you know, this, these are all die cuts that I've pulled or for some reason or another, they've wound up in this box. So I'm digging through it because I know a lot of my Heidi Slop, um, like mistable die cuts are in here. They're just die cuts with a resist pattern on them. And I wanted to use those to kind of customize them to fit this layout. And then I found that pinwheel in there. So, and then also I should mention that high sunshine, um, cut apart and that stay cool all summer cut apart those are from a cut apart sheet um, from the hashtag summer collection so 
So here I am just picking out some die cuts uh, that I want to use and like I said um, that pinwheel is from the Pure Collection actually. I, I believe it's from the Pure Collection. And then the rest of these die cuts are from that Heidi Swap. Um, I don't remember the exact name of it. I know it was available at Michael's for a while. I got mine at Archivers when they were still open so it's pretty old but nevertheless they're nice to have around just because if you don't have an embellishment that will match a specific layout, you can pair it together. So I was just looking through my Distress Ink chart, picking out some colors, and I'm gonna go with Abandoned Coral, Squeeze Lemonade, and Mermaid Lagoon. And um, I just grabbed my craft sheet here and a blending tool, and you can see how lovely they resist there. And so I'm not gonna show you <laughs> coloring all of them because obviously you can see how to do it. And you can do, you know, a variety of mediums over these. I mean, watercolor, mists, um, gelatos. I don't know if acrylic paint works, but I mean, just experiment with them. Or you can make your own by white heat embossing a stamp or a pattern onto a die cut. So anyways, <laughs> I'm going to start putting these embellishments down. Um, I'm going to pop up all of the, uh, like the embellishments that I colored and stuff. In the end, I really loved how it came out. Normally, I pop up my picture, um, and I didn't in this one, but I did pop up all these embellishments, and I used all the different types of um, foam adhesives that I have. Um, I've said this before, they all have like a dip different depth, depth, oh my goodness, to them. And so, it, to me, just visually, it makes things very interesting because some embellishments are higher than others, and so I like that. So that now arrow that's um, pointing to the picture, to the left of the picture, that is one of the squeezed lemonade die cuts. And then the dots below the picture, the blue ones that almost look like the foil ones, <laughs> those are the Mermaid Lagoon ones. So, so yeah, um, just using my different foam adhesives and sticking these on. And it's always hard to tell on camera um, the depth of a page, but uh, it's pretty cool. I liked how it came out, so... And that 3M foam tape, that is like the shallowest, I guess you would be the right word, maybe, um, it, foam adhesive that I have. So, And then the, the circle ones, those are the Studio, the Studio G pop dots from like Michael's. Um, those are the thickest ones I have. So, And then I have one that's kind of in between. I, those might be American Crafts, maybe. I have another pop dot that's about the same as the the, the 3M foam tape um, and it's like in little squares I think I got get that one from Joann's but anywho <laughs> so these are some Tim Holtz I think they're called mirrored stars and it's just a pack of mirrored stars and I'm gonna grab some alcohol ink in pool and I'm going to color these stars um, with the alcohol ink now I could have left them and they'd have matched obviously but I just wanted to um, add some color to them so that they would blend in with the layout so I just put a drop or two on each of the stars and I'm gonna grab a, a piece of felt and just kind of smush that in there and I'm going to set that aside to dry. I mean, alcohol ink is pretty quick to dry, but I'm going to let it dry. And you could do that with Copics, too, if you, are, if you have a lot of Copics. I just sold all my Copics, but you can definitely do that with Copics as well. So I'm going to do a bit more die cutting here. I cut a strip of this yellow paper here, and yeah, sorry about that. I cut a, <laughs> I don't know, my video froze, so I had to stop the recording and restart it, but you probably didn't even notice until I said something. <laughs> so anyways, I cut a strip of that yellow paper there, and I'm going to also cut a strip of this gold foil paper, and um, that, I'm going to die cut that word happy, which is a Heidi Swap uh, die cut, or die, um, out of that gold foil paper, and I'm going to add a couple sheets of cardstock on, tom, on top to act as a shim just to um, help it cut. I do have a metal adapter plate as well, but I was lazy and didn't feel like going to get it. So <laughs> so I cut that out of the gold foil paper, and now I'm going to go in with these Lawn Fawn alphabet dies, and I'm going to cut out the word uh, hiding with them, and then I will be done um, with the die cuts as far as my machine goes. So there goes the happy and here I go with the lawn. I think I'm pretty sure those are lawn fun.
I'm like 98% sure. <laughs> So I have everything cut out, and unfortunately, I'm not going to end up using that uh, gold foil happy. I will use it eventually. Maybe it'll go in that big 12 by 12 box, and I'll dig it out one day. But yeah, I'm not going to end up using it. I switched it out for that wood veneer happy, which is by Little Yellow Bicycle. And now I'm just taking these uh, tacky glue dot type sheets. Um, they're from Aileen's, and I got them at Tuesday mornings quite a while ago. But they work just perfect to stick down these... Um, letter die cuts so yeah so I'm going to glue this wood veneer down and I should mention just in case you haven't used these they don't have to sit in there like that I just have them to the side while I'm doing this part so yeah it's just basically like a glue dot type of system so so I'm just picking those off and um I'm going to stick down the word hiding and I should explain the title because it is a bit odd but the photo is of my two girls uh, just this past Saturday or Sunday I think it was Sunday it's just starting to get warm here in Minnesota so we turned the sprinkler on for them and they got their swimsuits on to kind of play in the water a bit to cool down and leave it to some Minnesota kids so crazy they went and grabbed a snow sled to sit in and an umbrella to shield themselves from the water with <laughs> Two things that have nothing to do with hot or summer. <laughs> it was just so funny. So I snapped a quick picture of it. They're huddling on the, the sled with the umbrella. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm just going to stick these stars down. And you can see my title is all down. And um, I'm going to take that uh, leftover gold foil paper that I have and use this adorable tiny little star punch that I got from Michaels. It's so cute. And I'm going to punch a few gold stars out of there just because that uh, the middle of that pinwheel is gold. So I just wanted a couple more little, you know, um, pops of it around the page. So that little punch came in perfect for that. And so I just um, scattered those around the blue stars that I had. And I'm taking a gold clear Wink of Stella uh, marker pen thingy and I'm just going over my title there the hiding part of it just to add a little shimmer to it and I'm gonna go in and do a bit of stamping now I think so that stamp set that I'm using there is by um, excuse me maybe I'm not gonna do the stamping yet am I gonna do the stamping yet no, I am going to paint this wood veneer. I didn't want to leave it that wood veneer color, and this was like an afterthought, obviously. Otherwise, I would have done it before I stuck it down. But I'm taking my Mermaid Lagoon Distress Paint, and uh, I'm just going to carefully paint that uh, happy wood veneer with that color. And I I really like the way that looked a lot better. It just made it, it kind of stand out a bit more. And I think that's why I colored the stars too. I didn't want anything that was neutral too much on the layout. I wanted things that really coordinated with the colors and I wanted white to be the main neutral color. So if that made sense at all, it could have only made sense in my head. <laughs> I often say things that only do. So, <laughs> so yes, now I am, um, I'm going to stick these stars on. I experimented. I had another, I, I bought a couple of those tiny little punches in different shapes. So I experimented with just a little circle, like confetti type one, but it wasn't cute. So scratch that idea. So now I'm going to do some stamping and that stamp set is so adorable. It's from Lily B Design. It came out with their We Are Family collection a couple years ago and I picked it up then and I'm so glad I did um, because I use it quite a bit. Um, so I'm going to grab these, uh, I think that people call them potty people. I don't know. They're like girl icons. <laughs> and I'm going to grab the big one um, and the smaller one for the big sister and the little sister. And I'm stamping those in Hero Arts Pale Tomato, that little cube that I have down there. And it was just the perfect color to match the colors that were that pinky color that was on the layout. So I'm just stamping first on some scratch paper because um, I'm not always the most confident stamper. And... There was my, all my hair wrapped up in this huge bun. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, I have those on. And then I'm going to take one more stamp. It says family fun. And I just needed something to kind of fill in that area there. 
So I'm going to stamp that in this uh, squeeze lemonade and I'm testing it a bunch of times because just for me, I'm not like a great stamper. So for me, especially the distress inks are a little more iffy. So I wanted to make sure it would come out okay and it did and it matched perfectly obviously because I used that ink on other parts of the layout. So that worked out good and I did have to move that little starburst because it was popped up. So I just replaced that. And I'm going to add a couple sequins, not clear ones this time though. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm just going to add some pink ones actually in three different shades in three different sizes. And I went kind of easy on them compared to what I have been. I've been putting quite a, a lot on layouts lately, um, but I'm just kind of sprinkling them um, on that same diagonal as the foil circles. So that is done, and I'm going to uh, use my glue dots again to stick them down. I thought about maybe, maybe putting some gold, but I'm just going to leave the pink on there. And um, yeah, here I am with the glue dots and just sticking them down. I kind of go between this method. I used to do this at first when I first started using a lot of sequins, and then I switched to the glue because sometimes the glue dots will... Um, you know, they won't hold the sequins as well as I'd like, so I kind of moved to the glue, but this has just become quicker again, so. So these are the coordinating flare that go with this collection, and I should mention, I got this collection at Tuesday morning, so I got the flare, I actually bought two packages of those, and I think they were one fifty each, and then I got the whole paper pad, I think for like $5 or something like that, so good deal. And it's, like I said, it's an adorable collection. So I just stuck two flares, one at the top left and one at the bottom right. Really cute flares. And I grabbed a sheet out of the paper pad um, to map my layout on. And I cut a quarter of an inch off each side and put that down there. Um, I've been matting quite a bit lately just because I've been feeling like my layouts have kind of been just floating around. <laughs> so I've been matting quite a bit. So I'm going to take my Heidi Swap date stamp here in that same pale tomato ink and just do the date. And it's so I love that Heidi Swap date stamp. It's the only one of mine that stays out or stays within my reach. Um, and it was so cute because this was June 7th. And instead of putting like the 07, you can put a little heart. So it was really cute. And I really need to get better about cleaning off my date stamps because... Um, I usually, I typically use just black or brown ink and I then I don't clean it off. So then when I go to use a color like this, there was like a little bit of like darker ink left, but I am not going to let it wreck my day. So <laughs> so I did some journaling here. I drew some lines in. I sometimes, I, I don't always do that, but I, I wanted to for this just because the rest of the layout is very grid-like. And just did a little bit of journaling and uh, here's some close-ups and there'll be stills at the end like normal. Thank you guys so much for taking the time. Oh, here I am, afterthought, with more Wink of Stella. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you go check out Hannah's video to kind of see her take on this challenge. And uh, I really hope to see you guys soon. And I also want to say, if you ever want um, to see different types of information, well, maybe not different, but if you're just more of a blogger, I do have a blog and the address will be in the description box. So you can always stop by there too. Thanks so much, guys. See you soon. Bye.